Uh, this video is a brick tutorial on how to create records in Sugar CRM Professional Edition. Um, basically, there are seven stages to create a record. So, uh, first of all, we need to go to our records module by clicking um, uh, the create record. Um, point from the reports uh, drop-down menu and then we'll select the summation report with details as the most representative summation report that displays additional data related uh, to the records and the results and we click on it and so the first step is selecting a module uh, so here you can choose the module the data from which will be used uh, to uh, form the record. Okay, for example, we're choosing leads module and by clicking on it. So, uh, the step two here is defining filters. So, uh, let's suppose that um, <clears throat> uh, we, we want to know to sort our information by the field date created. So, we need to, um, create, uh, to filter all our leads by the date they've been created. So, we, we type date created here and choose them choose this filter uh, then we select uh, last year from the drop-down menu uh, we're searching for last year here here it is here it goes so then we need to proceed to the next stage define group by <clears throat> And at this step, we need to define the group criteria. Uh, this means that the information in the wrappers will be grouped by the conditions we'll choose right now. So we can uh, <clears throat> define group by month, year, user, or any other criteria. Uh, but in our case, we want to group them by user. So we click on assign to user and type in username here. We just can type user and username and select username from the level 2 filter. This is level 1, level 1 filter, and this is level 2 filter. Uh, to proceed, we need just to click the next button. And here, here is uh, choose display summaries. Um, sometimes it's necessary for financial wrappers to see some results to compare them. Using the different kind of summary, like some minimum, maximum, or average Will make this record much more representative. In our case, we are uh, choosing count and we're uh, heading next. Here, we are choosing on this stage, we are choosing uh, the display columns. So, at this tab, we can define the fields uh, or columns uh, which will be d uh, displayed or present in our record. Um, the list will be sorted by the date created, and now we want to see their first name and last name. So we type name here, first name and last name. And um, we want to um, as well uh, know who they were assigned to. So we here will type in username again and select username of the uh, sales manager who is assigned to this or that particular lead. <clears throat> After that, we proceed by clicking next. Um, and this is one of the last stages. Uh, here we can choose the, uh, the chart type. Uh, we can uh, choose from horizontal bar, vertical bar, bar, pie or funnel. We'll choose vertical bar and proceed next. And this is the last stage where we can um, type in our wrapper name. This will be last year's leads by user. And we can also assign it to some other user or even teams. And finally, uh, we just need to um, click the Save and Run button to see our record. And here we see um, all the names of all the sales managers and how many leads each sales manager has. So Chris has 31 leads, Max 48, um, Sally 39, and Sarah 46. And Will has only 36 leads. So. Uh, Max and Sarah, according to this record, Max and Sarah were the most successful sales manager. Uh, that's probably uh, it. Thank you for watching.